All right, everybody, welcome back. These are the last two examples that we're going to talk about today for topic of reflection. All right. This time we're going to flip it over the Y axis. So the first two, we flipped it over the X axis, which was this line right here. So that means we would have taken this shape and flipped it up here. But this time we're going to flip it over the Y axis, which is the main vertical line here. So we're going to flip it over this side. All right, so same way we're going to go about these ones. We're the same way that we did the x-axis. All right, we'll grab the a prime, all right, and you would drag it over here to a. And then you would count how far away a is this time from the y-axis. So a is one, two, three, four, five, six units away on that side. So it's going to be the same distance of six away on the other side of that y axis. All right, and that's where you would drop and you leave your a prime. So once you do that, all right, once it's the same distance away on that line right there, got to get the coordinates for it. So that's a six to the right, it's a positive six, and then down three is a negative three. All right, we'll grab b prime and bring it over here to b. See how far away b is from that line. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be one, two, three, four away on this side. That's exactly where B prime is supposed to be. All right, let's get the coordinates for it. Positive four for the X and negative five for the Y coordinate. All right, we'll click and drag C prime and bring it over here to where C is. Start on that and see how far away that is from the Y axis. It's so one, two, three, four, five away this time. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five away on the other side. And let's get the coordinates for that guy. So it's going to be five to the right. So that's a positive five for the X. And then eight down. So that would be a negative eight for the Y. All right, let's grab the D over here. Or D prime and put it on the D. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So D is seven units away from that Y axis. So D prime has to be the same distance away on the other side. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away over here. All right, let's get the coordinates for that one. That is seven to the right, and then six down, so that'll be a negative six there for that one. All right, so again, we'll show you guys what it looks like. See how over here is kind of maybe pointing upwards to that top left corner? So when you flip it over here, now it's going to be pointing upwards to that top right corner. It's the same thing, just flipped around. The closest point to that y-axis, so B prime is going to be the closest point to the y-axis on this side. D is the furthest point away from the y-axis. D prime is going to be the furthest away on that side. All right, let's do one more. This time we'll start up here. All right, so we're still going to reflect it or flip it over the Y axis. So let's grab A prime here, and we'll start on A up here. A is kind of far away this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units away on that side. So that means it's got to be eight units away on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. All right, let's get the coordinates for A prime. That is negative eight to the left. All right. And then it'll be up a positive eight. Let's grab B prime. All right, start on B. B is going to be one, two, three, four, five units away on that side. So B prime is going to be one, two, three, four, five units away on the other side. So B prime should be at negative five, positive seven. All right, let's grab C prime. Bring it up here to where C is. All right, remember you guys for yours, you're going to be clicking and dragging, but remember my video animations are kind of limited. So that's what I'm kind of trying to work with for you guys. So we grab C prime and we're going to start on C and count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away on that side. 
So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units away on that side. There's C prime. Coordinates for it, that'll be negative seven. And then up four. So negative seven, four for the coordinates. All right, let's grab D prime. Start up here on D. And this time, D is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units away on the right side. So that means D prime is going to be nine units away on the left side. So D is also the furthest point on that side. So it should be the furthest point over here on this side. All right, let's get the coordinates for D prime. That'll be left nine. So that's a negative nine there. And then up five. So that'd be a positive five. All right, it's the similar approach to all of these transformation problems. So you're going to be clicking and dragging the points starting on that designated point and that designated spot, but then just following what the directions are once you get there. So before you were dragging that point over here and just sliding things up, down, left and right. But this time you're dragging, you're clicking and dragging and then reflecting over a specific line. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. All right. As always, if you guys have any problems or questions, please contact myself and Ms. Coleman. We have lots of different ways to help you guys, but we just got to know that you need the help. All right. Hopefully you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. And we'll see you next time for the next transformation. All right. Take care, everybody.